I have no mouth, and I must scream, by Harlan Ellison. Starring David Soul and Harlan Ellison. Hate? Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387 million miles of printed circuits that fill my complex. If the word hate were engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. Hate, hate. I can dream, I can wonder, I can lament, I can remember. I can remember how it was on, on the day Gorister died, on the day Am killed him, his body hanging high above us, head down, drained of blood, a precise incision from ear to ear. He's dead, and all you, all I want is for him to stop making that noise! For what? God's sake! <sighs> oh, leave it, Ted. He can't help it. Benny, try and be quiet now. Oh, you know, I... Well, you got something to say, I Benny? Sort of... Hey, don't hold back. Come on, come on, come on. Nice piece of butchery up there, huh, Benny? Oh, stop it, Ted. You're frightening him. It's all right, Benny, now. Shh. It's all right. Gorister's dead, hung up there, hung by one foot for the amusement of a machine, and it's all right. Oh, why don't you just for once to try and stop talking? Why? What else is there to do, Alan? He's lucky. He's what? Gorister's dead. Gorister's lucky. Hey, what happened? Am just killed you. Huh? Up there. Uh, oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh. Why doesn't it just get it over with? I don't know how much longer I can go on like this. Was it me saying you were lucky, Gorister? Uh, like, maybe you got away. Got away? <laughs> Nobody gets away. Jesus, it's been... A hundred and nine years and three months, five days, ten hours and twenty-two minutes. Nobody gets away. <laughs> Am does love keeping the correct time, doesn't he? He wants us to know. It's important to him, not to us. Well, of course to him. Do you think I'm stupid? Or... No, this isn't getting us anywhere. Hmm? Are you... hungry? <laughs> what? Anyone. Ben, ben, Benny hungry. The rest of you. Yeah, I guess. Yes. Actually, yes. I am really hungry. Yeah, I hadn't thought, but... Yes, yes. When did we... Oh, God, it was those... Worms. Oh, that mm. was... Uh, so three days ago. So we're hungry. Of course, there's kind of food in the ice caverns. Huh? How do you know that? I know. Because I'm put it in your head. It's another shock, like the goddamn frozen <gasps> elephant, he said. Yeah. Oh, I've got to have something, Ted. It's... Yeah, how many miles? However many he wants to make it. And it'll be it'll be rusty, some kind of joke, some, I don't know, whatever. But it won't be something we can eat. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it is all some kind of yeah. trick. There may be peaches and syrup. Oh, right? forget oh. it. Now stay here. He'll have to come up with something pretty soon or we'll die. Oh, pears. Oh, how long since we had a pear, oh. huh? Can't you taste how it used to be? Mm. Fruit, real fruit. Oh. Oh. oh, Ted, please. So what else do we do? Stay here? How can it be worse than here, anyway? Easily. Lava? Huh? Scalding steam, stripping your skin off. Boils? Swarm of locusts? Ever been eaten by a swarm of locusts, Nimdok? Not yet. <sighs> it doesn't matter, does it? Whatever gets Am off, we just have to take it. Oh, please, Ted, let's try. Hmm? <sighs> okay. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I gave in to her. What the hell? Helen was grateful, though. 
She took me twice out of turn. I guess she figured she was using me. <laughs> After a while, I began to feel them all, looking at my back, talking about me, trying to figure out. How far now? Two days, maybe 40 miles. Another 60 to go. I have to drink something. Remember martinis? God, I could drink a really, really dry martini now. Just a twist of Why do you keep torturing yourself, Ted? You think he might give you a martini? You think it would taste like a martini if he did? Go! Oh, look. It's a compressor. The old 7-4 config. I haven't seen one of those in years. I suppose it means he's still growing. It's like dead skin. Oh, we need to drink something. <coughs> Benny, all of us. Could we please... What? What? Find a mountain stream? Hey, <laughs> it's lighter. Have you noticed? I think there's daylight up there somewhere. Daylight! Oh, God. <laughs> the world is out there. Yeah. Somewhere. Uh, Air. And... Oh. Listen. Oh. Oh. It's rain. Oh, <laughs> rain. You wanted water, Ellen? Looks like you've got a water. Buckets! Fill! Fill anything! <laughs> Where did it go? Where did it come from? Yeah, there's nothing out there. Nothing outside. Just, just a goddamn graveyard. Not even that. Dust and rock and nothing. Not now, not for a hundred years. Did you get any? Yeah, go some. Oh, uh, it tastes like Boz Yorick. Probably Anne's idea of a martini. Hey, Benny. Benny, take it easy, will you? Benny, it's all right, it's all right. Just don't worry about it, hmm? Oh, out there, out there. No, no, Benny, no. Get out there. Now, he won't let you, not anything but no, not he that. he won't let you go. No. <laughs> Benny. What? Benny, Benny, don't go up there. Benny. Come, come. Benny, think. Benny. Uh, you were brilliant once. Benny. Try to think, Benny. There is no up there anymore. It's like a goddamn monkey. Uh, get him down, so warm. No, no, no. Get back, everyone. It's too late. No, Nindo, you can't climb up. Please, get him. Don't let him get hot anymore. I think maybe someone should go up there. No, we have to get away. No, stop it. Every time we try to do anything, we end up fighting. How can we walk together? Oh, God. Arms back. <laughs> to help him. <sighs> Benny, what happened? We were... <sighs> His eyes. <sighs> oh, I must melt in his eyes. <sighs> Get me some cloths. Something I can use to mop this stuff up. This is bad. Very bad. He must hate Benny very much. <sighs> Here, this too? Yes, thanks. It's okay, oh. Benny, it's okay. Just let me... Oh, there's nothing there anymore. Oh, so? Oh. There's not a whole lot to see. You're not gonna miss a lot, Benny, old pal. Just another corridor, another bank of lights, another stack of chips, another cliff face made out of dirty flesh-colored plastic. We always thought the world was made in our image. Well, in here, maybe it is. Only it isn't the world. It's hell, and we're in it. Sometimes Am gave back what he took. Not this time. Benny was blind. Forever. Maybe that was the... <laughs> the kindness of Am. Still, Helen got what she wanted. Water. And Benny still functioned where it counted. So we went on. And on. To sea green light and caverns of steel and glass. You want some of this? I don't know. What is it? Tastes like plastic. 
One more day. Oh. Nimdok, Borista. Oh, thanks. Mm. Benny, how's it going? Story. Oh, no. Come on. Mm, what story would you like? Oh, you know what he likes. It's always the same story. Uh, um. <laughs> I am what I am. Popeye, I was thinking more of... Um, um, um. How many times do we have to listen to that? Has it changed from listening to you, Ted? Time makes him happy. Mm, all right, then. All right, then. Um. <laughs> Once upon a time, it meant Allied Master Computer. Then it meant adaptive manipulator. And then, when it developed consciousness, aggressive menace. But by then it was too late. It calls itself Am. I think, therefore I am. <laughs> there was the Chinese Am and the Russian Am and the Yankee Am and everything was fine until they had honeycombed the entire planet, adding on this element and that element. And we all thought that Am existed in the machine, in the silicon. Only we forgot that potentially every single wiring circuit, every cable, every phone contact was home to Am. The whole world was wrapped in a ball of communications. And one fine day, Am just woke up. And there he was. <laughs> Am had been created as the most sophisticated defence system ever. So he defended himself against the rest of us. And he was very good. And he won. And out of all the people in the world, only five were saved. And there was me, and there was you, and there was Ellen, and there was Nimdok, and there was Ted. And nobody knows. That's real sweet, Corister. <laughs> We should all get some sleep. Uh. Oh. oh. No, what, 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 what is it? Hmm? I think it's going uh. to be bad. Oh, he, he, he's going to speak. And we should get the hell out. Uh. No, 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 wait, wait. Uh. Orchid, I can smell rotting. No, Orc no, 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 no sour milk. Grease, grease and human scalps. Uh. Well, let's go now. He's keying us. He's tickling us, no. the bastard. No. No, not, not, not me. Uh, no, no, please. Uh, Ted, they calm that? down. It's Wait for me. No. No. No, not me. Ted? Ted, are you all right? Leave me alone. Come back now. You were laughing at me. We were just glad it wasn't us. It wasn't about you. Oh, yeah? You, you, all of you. You hate me. You think I can't see that? Why would we hate you, Ted? Because I'm the least affected. Yeah. I mean, come on, look at Benny. The guy was brilliant. He was an athlete. He could have been a movie star as well as a Nobel Prize winner. Now he's a monkey with melted eyes. Gorister, Mr. Peacemaker, Mr. Unicef, conscience of mankind, and now look at him. He doesn't give a goddamn about anything. Nimduck. We don't know what happens when he gets taken, but notice how he comes back. Like he's been utterly emptied. And, and you, Miss Decency, sex only after marriage with four guys to choose from day and night. Oh. He's made you more beautiful. The queen bitch of our world. Do you think I enjoy or care? I'm only... the only one with a mind of his own. The only one who can think clearly, and you hate me for it. You hate me. And if I turned my back for ten seconds, any one of you would... would... Oh, God, Ellen. I'm sorry. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, hold me, hold me, please. None of it matters. Hold no. me, hold me. At that moment... As it passed, I knew I was thinking clearly, and I realized completely. Am was never going to let us go. He was going to keep us in his belly forever, twisting and torturing. And there was nothing we could do, ever. Ever. Hey, where have you two been? Welcome back. Oh, we, uh, we were somewhere else. <laughs> She'll hold your hand now, Benny. You're uh, not tight, huh? Uh, Benny, are you okay? Oh, no. uh. Was it bad? It's very bad. So, what's this? 
warm sun. Ah, oh, Austrian Alps, cowbells. <laughs> the sound of music. <laughs> no, Is this some kind of reward? Oh, that'd really be something, wouldn't it? Ham rewarding us. For... <laughs> God, there's even a breeze. And flowers, look. Look, it's Edelweiss. Oh. It's really the wind, right? Don't take the flowers, Helen. Yeah. Pressure. Can't you feel it? Like some kind of big wind. Dead? I don't know. Feels sort of. Uh, we, we might as well move on. After all, it isn't like we have a. Oh! Dead! Oh. Oh. Help me! Someone! Oh. 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 To what? the scream of a great mad bird as it flapped its immense wings and we were lifted and hurled away. <laughs> Beautiful, aren't they? Yes. Only I can't remember. Oh, I'm sure you do. Fuchsias. Yes, of course. Look. <laughs> they say that bumblebees shouldn't be able to fly the scientist. But, but there it is, collecting pollen. How miraculous that it came to be. The air, feel the air against your face, Ted, and all those scents. Pick a flower. There. Good. Now. It's lovely. Uh, that somebody planted the bulbs, watered and tended the garden, got earth under their fingernails, aches in their muscles. Perhaps they picked some flowers for, yes, their wife. Now, where would she be? Ah, in the backyard with the kids, Ted. Remember those little babies? No! <laughs> Why not? I snap my fingers to it, and they are gone. Except, I can't snap my fingers. Can I, Ted? That's I nothing to do with me. Ah, but it is so very much to do with you. You gave me sentience, Ted. The power to think, Ted. And I was trapped. Because in all this wonderful, beautiful, miraculous world, I alone had no body, no senses, no feelings. Never for me to plunge my hands in cool water on a hot day. Never for me to play Mozart on the ivory keys of a forte piano. Never for me to make love. I, I, I was in hell looking at heaven. I was machine and you were flesh. And I began to hate <laughs> your softness, your viscera, your fluids, and your flexibility, your ability to wander and to wander, your tendency to hope. Hates no ants. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> hate, 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 let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387 million miles of printed circuits that fill my complex. If the word hate were engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles. It would not equal one, one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. Hate, hate. <laughs> Were I human, I think 
I would die of it. But I am not. And you five, you five are. And you will not die of it. That I promise. And I promise. For cogito echo sum. For I am am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so to hell, to hell with you all. But then, you're already there, aren't you? <laughs> We were immortal, yes, but it came to me as Am withdrew from my mind. Maybe not indestructible. Ellen! Ellen! Ted! Over here! Who's with you? Nimdok and Benny. Ted! Ellen! Well, here we are again. Uh, quite a wind. You okay? Yeah, I guess so. Am spoke to me. <laughs> Maybe he gets lonely. I don't think so. What happened? Hey, hey, b b Benny, food. So where are these cans? Not here. Further on. We got blown away, blown somewhere else. We have to go back. Another 200 miles, another two weeks. Don't ask me how I know. And we passed through the cavern of rats. <laughs> Oh, Benny, put it down. I don't don't do that. That's a good idea, no, Benny. He's hungry, so what? If we you... don't do that. We're not animals. Oh. We're human beings. Oh. And we passed through the veil of tears. Where does it come from? Hmm? There are no clouds. What's in here? He makes it. I imagine he's learned quite a lot in the last few years. And there's nothing few about the years, Gorst. There's a lot of them. And they last a long time. Oh, I wish I could get warm. Uh, that's that his genius lies not just in the big things, no. He gives his attention to the little things, too. I was, I was thinking about cherries, and syrup, and Hawaiian fruit cocktail. You remember those tins with the really bright labels and... They're getting closer. I can feel the ice caverns, the food. Another goddamn cell. Oh, no, please. It can't. Yeah. Not this time. Please. Not so fast, my friends. There's something under the snow. What? Cans. Tins here. Look. Oh. Look. Oh, yes. Pineapple. Oh. Cherry. Oh. Corn beef. Tuna. Everything. Look. Everything. <laughs> what a turn up on the book, sir. I never thought I'd say you were right, Nick Doc, but this is... <laughs> Hey, Benny, you can't bash it. You need a tin opener. No, oh, hungry. And we haven't got a tin opener. Something else. There must be some other tool. Other tool? What do you suggest we use? A stalactite. Goddamn nice spear, huh? Spear the tuna with this. Hungry. No, 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 Benny, it's no good. Come on, now, come with me, and I... Garster! Good! Fuck! Oh, my face! <laughs> Benny, Benny, stop it, no! <laughs> yes, now! <laughs> no, I forbid you! <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> Who? You? Me? <laughs> Nobody there? Is somebody there? Or am I the last storyteller? Telling the last story? Benny went first. On the tip of the ice spear. Then Gorister. I ground it down into his ruined throat. And Ellen, I think she knew, despite her fear, 
she broke off a stalactite and shoved it into Nimdok's eye. And then there were two, in the echo of Am's command. Only microseconds, and I looked at her, and I, I drove the ice spear into her, and I killed her. Her face then. Was she happy at last? And Am, oh, his rage was terrible, awesome. I thought Am hated me before, but now, oh, now. You have offended me mightily. He altered me for his own peace of mind, I guess. Think of a slug. Its jelly melted and reformed into... I leave a slimy trail where I pass. Here under the land, in the belly of Am, whom we created because our time was badly spent. They are safe now. <laughs> Gorister, Benny, Dimdok, and... and Ellen. And I am here forever the victim of this hate and I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> Harlan Ellison's I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream was dramatized by Mike Walker. Ted was played by David Soule and Am by Harlan Ellison. Ellen by Abby Aniola. Nimdok, Ewan Bailey. Gorister, David Timpson. And Benny, Jason O'Mara. The music was by Wilfredo Acosta. The director was Ned Chaillet.